RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. It has ribose sugar in its structure, synthesized in the nucleus, and an acidic nature due to the presence of a phosphate group, which is why it is called ribonucleic acid. Mostly, RNA has single-stranded structures. It is called its primary structure. It has a sugar phosphate chain along which nucleotides are arranged. It has four nucleotide bases, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and uracil. RNA has three main types. Messenger RNA, ribosomal RNA, and transfer RNA. All these types of RNA are involved in gene expression. Messenger RNA is synthesized in the nucleus from DNA during transcription. As its name suggests, it receives some message from the nucleus. After formation, it travels from the nucleus to the cytoplasm, where it is translated into protein. Next, ribosomal RNA is synthesized in the nucleus, but is mostly found in the cytoplasm, in ribosomes. Ribosomes are composed of ribosomal RNA and proteins. It is involved in the translation of messenger RNA. Along with the transfer RNA, it prepares proteins. The last one is transfer RNA, which has a T-shape and is mainly involved in translation steps. It has an anticodon at its end, which is specific to a particular amino acid. It brings animoacid corresponds to each codon during protein synthesis. So, all these types are involved in gene expression. Messenger RNA bring the message from nucleus, ribomosomal makes proper arrangements, and transfer RNA brings amino acids one by one to complete the process. All the complementary bases of RNA combine to form RNA secondary structures. A simple nucleotide sequences of RNA are called primary structures and denoted by one prime, while when these nucleotides fold together and form a complex structure that is called secondary structure and denoted by two prime. The preferred structure of RNA is secondary which has many structural patterns like helices, loops, bulges, and junctions. The first secondary RNA structure is called a helix. Unlike the DNA helix, the RNA helix is formed when the RNA folds onto itself. The second secondary structure is the hairpin loop. The loop of the hairpin must be at least four bases long to avoid steric hindrance with base pairing in the stem part of the structure. Note that hairpins reverse the chemical direction of the RNA molecule. The third type of secondary structure is a bulge loop. Bulges are formed when a double-stranded region cannot form base pairs optimally. Bulges can be asymmetric with varying numbers of base pairs on one side of the loop. These are commonly found in helical segments of cellular RNA and are used to measure the helical twist of RNA in solution. The fourth type of secondary RNA structure is an interior loop. Interior loops are formed by an asymmetric number of unpaired bases on each side of the loop. Another secondary RNA structure is the junction or intersection. Junctions include two or more double-stranded regions converging to form a closed structure. The unpaired bases appear as a bulge. Unpaired bases in two secondary structures form hydrogen bonds with each other. RNA tertiary structures are formed when RNA unpaired bases bond in the secondary region. Secondary RNA structures are formed due to the folding of nucleotides within RNA molecules, 
but some nucleotides remain open for interaction after folding, and they form hydrogen bonds together. These unpaired nucleotides of the secondary structure interact with other unpaired nucleotides and form a third structure called the tertiary structure. For example, four nucleotides in a hairpin loop structure do. The above figure indicate how these secondary structures come together. Indicate the difference between an internal loop and multi-loop. Indicate the yet unpaired bases. The unpaired bases in the tertiary structure remain paired by abnormal folding called pseudonauts, but instead of pairing, they remain available or pairing. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos and click the bell icon for the most recent ones.